Time's up. Let's do this. Hello, very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Bebo here, and joining me tonight is Zeno Viper. We're bringing you another coverage of Horn Tour Thailand special coverage on a special Friday night. It's gonna be Myth Hybrid versus Kiro. So, Zeno Viper, how are you doing, man? I think he. Cannot hear me. Oops. Hello, guys. Yeah, there's echo, by the way. So yeah, it was it was, it was kind of weird because I had my jacks in the wrong jacks. <laughs> I had my mic in the headphone jack. Holy crap, it was bad. Yeah. All right. So I I hope everything's fine right now, and um, we are ready to go into game. As you can hear in the background, the game has already begun. So I th I mean the draft. So we are going into the screen here, and Hybrid is going to be on the Legion side. Kiro will be on the Hellbond team, carrying the same clan tag as Turtle Masters. So have you found out what that actually means? I actually have no idea, and knowing the fact that um, we have a kind of a stranger five, six, seven, eight, we've seen. I mean, uh, him as a veteran player, probably just another team. I'm not really sure. There are a lot of really good Thai teams out there, and Turtle Masters being one of them. And we have Mr. Suns on team. HBS on the Legion side, man. What, what what do you think about that, man? This yeah, well, stuff. I think that uh, it's a bit of a mixture that came into myth. It, this happened after Haunter Southeast Asia, so they kind of disband. Um, S2Y is no longer around, and they just reform into Hybrid. And Hybrid still carries the old players like Peter Yetz, uh, Never Say, as well as Mr. Suns playing the mid lane there. So those are the players I still remember. And for help on team Kiro, I think this is not the main Turtle Masters lineup. It could be a secondary team here. And they still run a very cute version of the Turtle. But anyway, the game has begun here as in the draft. So let's go into the draft here. We have Silhouette, Chutulufan, and Cersei, plus the Puppet Master being banned. So very interesting band choices coming up from Hybrid, um, the Cersei specifically. What do you think about that? I think these uh, players could have been going against each other in you know just screams and stuff. So they kind of like uh, feel that they have a you know have kind of a grasp of what the opponent plays because I wouldn't know them. They're you know they're Thai players. They're a little bit different from the uh, you know Malaysia Singapore kind of a draft. So it's, it is really interesting. You know, all four bands are pretty you know it's non conventional. You don't see a silhouette often. Um, oops, you don't see a Cthulhuon and a Cersei. Papa Master definitely good band because of the uh, the insane carry potential. Yeah, forget the dog right there. So the wild know, dog in the background. There we go. Wild doggy. Yeah, Home production, so, uh, best production. So yeah, yeah, you're saying? Yeah, sorry for that. Um, so yeah, knowing the fact that there is a Cersei band, so we know that you know, Hellborn is probably, you know, probably trying to run some really wild strategy. There is usually a Blitz pickup by the way. So a lot of good stuff happening in this game. I can kind of, I can kind of feel it. Oh yeah, feeling the game, are we? So yeah, pretty good AOE. Uh, synchronization coming from Team Legion side hybrid running the Kronos Rhapsody Kraken and Helper Team Kira gonna bring in the Magmas Engineer and Bleeds as well. So those are very strong and intense team fight heroes. Going speeding through the second manifest we got the Swift Blade, Gauntlet, Rally, Ophelia, Bubbles and Pebbles address the signature pebbles of Mr. Suns long long time ago, 2012. Dreamhack. Wow. Yeah, we do, yeah, bubbles, pebbles and then the good pebbles combo right there so uh, really I mean if you just look at the bands there's gauntlet being banned out there's swift blade you know all these things are really non-conventional bubbles okay understandable Ophelia is gonna be an interesting band I don't uh, know if there is a really good Ophelia player on the Legion team but I want to see where it goes next you do see a moon queen actually being picked up for uh, Team Legion, so that's going to be the carry of choice. Mm -hmm. Kronos definitely going to be suiciding. So I can kind of sense that they're going to... Uh, it's kind of like, you know, it's like their name. They're going hybrid. It's not just a lot of um, early burst magical damage, and they can just easily transition into late game, um, you know, auto attack power. So that's pretty good stuff for them. Turtle Masters, on the other hand, they're a little bit more towards um, good AOE burst, you know, like Engineer, Blitz, Dead, we'll look at that. So they are going to try to probably end this game a little bit early. If not, yep. they could be screwed by Moon Queen. I mean, and, if, and just say if Kronos gets up the farm as well, that could be a little bit of a problem for them. 
Yeah, well, the thing is, Willow Maker now deals about 725 physical damage and at its maximum, and also applies a negative 30% hold strength. So that is a bit of a nerf, but it's uh, getting a bit of a you know resurgence these days. Could be due to the latest rework whatsoever. And generally, we're gonna see a finish Warbies here as well as the last pick Empath support. And generally, Empath is fantastic on stuff like Moon Queen because you know the the, re the regeneration is fantastic, as well as you got Rhapsody there as well. So a lot of heals come from Team Legion side. Hell on Team, pretty good. Like the lineup a lot with the Warbis thrown in the mix there. It just provides so much uh, more yeah. synergy. I would and say synergy. I mean, with the fact that they uh, they are lacking in terms of a hard hitter like carry. So Warbis is good. It is a good pick. I like it. Yeah, I'm in synergy in the form of uh, Engineer and Magmus. That's like blatant synergy oh, right yeah. there. <laughs> but, but good stuff, good stunts as well. You got a Magmus stun, you have also the Engineer, plus the Blitz. You cannot miss the stun and Blitz, it's completely ridiculous. Plus, let's not forget the Rotten Grabs coming from the Daywood. So, in general, both sides um, stand a pretty good chance in this game. And if Hybrid does have the kind of hype surrounding it, just like, you know, the old school as to why, then probably we're in for a good show. Old school indeed. So, yep, ladies and gentlemen, this is Haunter. I mean, I would say old Haunter, but it's more for Thailand. So, I'm not sure. Do they still call it Haunter Thailand? Um, yeah, now it's called Haunter Thailand, previously known as oh, wow. Haunter Southeast Asia. But as you guys probably know, since we've been pretty old and repeating the same stuff all over this this few casts, saying that now it's like kind of broken up into a few teams there. So generally, I yep. think the game has started, but I am not able to go into game here. Are you in game? Yes, the game is on a pause. So right now, um, we do have. I don't guess we only have people being disconnected from the game, so that's kind of pretty interesting stuff. Go so I'm gonna take this downtime a little while to kind of introduce the players. When Babel is making his way back in the screen, we have Peter Yes on Team Legion, which is Team Hybrid. We are just gonna be playing that uh, good empath, good stuff. We have um, Evers on the Suicide Chronos. We have DY007 playing the Rhapsody. We have Ball X3 and this one balls for playing the moon. Very interesting cracking. Considering he's a mid player. Just saying. Whereas on the Hellborn team, we have X Turtle Master. Yeah, well, I think he. I think he is having a connection problem. Or maybe I might be the one with the connection problems. But, yep. Alright, so he's gone. I'm gonna have to continue with this. Funny MK onto the Blitz. <laughs> and Deadwood being played by Chun Juke Crew. And X Snap there onto the Engineer Lust Banalis. We got EPN on the Magmus as well as 5678 on the Warbies. So Zen Viper, you back? I guess not. Let's, uh, let's rate the call very bad. And try and try our best to bring him back to this game here. Could be an issue on my end, but I'm still in this game, so I have no idea. But anyways, Cap just just got disconnected. Are you back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm fine. I'm just okay, good. Kind of curious why you keep getting so, disconnected. Um, can't be me because I'm still alive here. Anyway, oh. doesn't matter. It's fixed. I finish up the Hellbound introduction for you, and we're now looking at a very interesting what spot here for Team Legion here on the top side of this map. What With MVP spot? never say opting to the ward here instead of warding at the pool camp. So that means that the pool camp is going to be available for Blitz to abuse, and on Team Hellbound side, no aggressive war whatsoever coming out from them at the bottom lane. I guess this ward for um, being placed by never say at the top lane was more towards um an anti gank ward considering that Kronos is a you know be, you know being solo in the suicide lane we have a deadwood and a blitz you don't want to get ganked by a deadwood and a blitz so that's a pretty uh, I would say that ward is pretty strategic just for him yeah, pretty good stuff there. That's it. Mid lane, we do have the Magnus as well as Engineer providing some form of harassment onto the Kraken. Mr. Stans can solo the mid lane as usual. Top lane, Kronos, uh, not gonna have a bit of a good time at all. Uh, Blitz is gonna harass him completely. He needs to make sure he gets some EXP. He's gonna run into the wave of creeps here and will be running in a very weird direction. In fact, I think he's gonna try and pull up two waves. It's gonna be tricky though because Blitz is gonna be here. So, good luck to Never Say. Yep, so Kronos being slowed down by the uh, second scale is really, really annoying by the way, the pilfering. Look at the amount of damage being due to Kronos. He's still not using his time leap away, so he's going to save that mana. Here comes another pilfering. He's probably going to be forced 
to actually pull, uh, wow. use his time wall. If not, he will die. Like, couple last hits, not Blitz is not gonna pursue. That's pretty interesting. No, as in he but knows yeah. he's not gonna get a kill. There is no way he's gonna get a kill with that stun. I like the fact that he actually pulled the end lore creep cam here just to disrupt away this pull cam and that's fantastic here comes a healed up chronos oh. now uh, without a time leap effectively <laughs> not enough mana stuck within the creeps what are you doing there chronos he might just go down here yeah really really cute stuff there coming up from never say uh, i was kind of just complimenting too much on his board and he dies to neutrals uh, that, that that time leap into the neutrals was the most questionable play of the day i easily like no doubt so really good uh, bloodlust coming for funny MK gonna pick up that nice little bloodlust and a couple of neutral creep camps. So that's gonna boost his GPM up to 256. And considering that he is after all, a you know semi support player with Deadwood getting pretty much free farm in the top lane. Yeah, pretty good stuff there for Team Hellborn. It's a uh, great stuff for the short lane for them. Initially, Deadwood now is going to have a lot of harassment potential going to the mid game there. With a quick level 6, all is going to look pretty green for Team Legion. But right now, mid lane seems like Magmas is going to take a bit of a beating coming in from the Kraken as well as that of the Rhapsody. A lot of harassment there in the mid lane. Meanwhile, down south, some engagement is going to happen here. Warp is, is completely walled in here in the pool of trees here. And he's effectively also going to get stuck. A lot of this players here today are going to get stuck in trees and stuff like that. So, uh, <laughs> Fighting 70 going to hide and juke out a little bit there. He effectively is hiding away from potential vision and we'll find a moon queen there somehow there is a bit of an increased movement speed on the empath he does have the haze rune but no more power up there he's also gonna try and pull away now um it's not gonna be a stun there so pretty good play from yep. the war piece i say moon queen uh moon beams a little bit down and path is trying to get vision of him but unfortunately it did not work so pretty good jukes actually coming up from uh, Spice 6, 7, 8, right? That was really interesting stuff. Uh, middle lane. Meanwhile, middle lane, actually, Magmas gets a stun in, and the Pilfer is actually gonna be a Rhapsody. Kang lands on him, and the turret's gonna push Rhapsody back. Rhapsody's gonna go down, but at what cost? The, uh, I would say the Blitz actually does go down as well. So, one for one exchange, I would I would say more in favor for the Legion, because it's, after all, a, a Rhapsody for a Blitz. And that Blitz, mind you, that Blitz got first blood on that really interesting Kronos. Here comes another stun from Magnus onto that Kraken, so just probably apply a little bit of harass. And that'll probably mark the end of the engagement. Yeah, meanwhile, a little bit of a check on the items here so far. Moon Queen already up with the small little raid march, just good stuff there. Mr. Suns as well, so those are the heroes so far with the extra movement speed boost. And on team, uh, well, hold that topic because mid lane there goes a reverse tsunami charge. It's not going to be really effective. Kek's going to connect, Kraken takes a beating, but that's just about it. Meanwhile, on team help on side, back to the point. Blitz has increased movement speed as well with the marches. And guess what? They were very close to level 6 already now, level 5. Might be the first guy to get level 6. Across the map here, and effectively, that's gonna be easy kill on Kronos with the Willowmaker if he has the mana. Yep. That is, if he has the mana, but do note that Kronos actually put a point into rewind, that is his second skill. So, I'll probably look at some really interesting rewinds coming up from this game. But here comes Kronos actually pulling up the camps, but with the pilfering onto the uh, onto him, Blitz is just kiting him. Look at that. Kronos level 4, yes, a little bit much more tankier, but he's just gonna go play merry-go-round with them and uh, trying to soak up as much experience as possible. Meanwhile, in the middle lane, we have Kraken hitting level 5, probably gonna itch close to his um, his steam boots. So, really, really good stuff coming up from Mr. Sun. Sitting at close to 400 gold per minute, I wouldn't be surprised if he gets his portal key up in at least the next uh, 7 minutes into the game. Which on oh. top lane, Kronos actually gonna pull up there. You're gonna meet into Engineer, Kang lands onto him. Look at it, Pilfering do so much damage, but he is forced to actually time leap away, and I guess he will make his escape. So, really hard to uh, pull up this Kronos, and that's why right now he is the king of the offlane. Yep, also a lucky rewind there happening. Um, also, Kronos cannot really kill Blitz, but Blitz also will not dare to take a huge engagement against the Kronos. Not like level 1, because now. Kronos does have a little bit extra level, but with the engineer around, things are a little bit different. So there goes the uh, joint combined effort onto the Kronos. Kronos is going to fail to pull again, but we'll now try and pull back. Magma is going to join in the engagement just to say hi, swing by, friendly neighbor um, Scorpion there for you guys. And they're all going to pull back as well. Yeah. Yeah, I, I really, I, what I find is really interesting is that Deadwood's taking up the safe lane, getting up the, uh, you know, the major of the farm. So, like I said, man, this this uh, this lineup is more catered towards 
having you know having all the bursts, and that's what you're getting. The Deadwood's level six right now. He has his steam boots up. Bottom lane. All he needs is for key. Yeah. Bottom lane actually. Here comes right up. Morbius actually a lot of trouble. Moon Kiwi that moon finale and down goes Morbius. So get a little bit of retribution for that uh escape juke by five six seven eight and down oh. he goes. That's one sad warhound there. Pretty quick know, uh, right? moon beam just to pick up the kill, and it's good because Warhound can also farm a little bit if you can micro it well. That's a level six crack in mid lane, very very strong. Um, I'd like to point out that he's very tanky as well. Does have uh, a little bit of the iron buckler as well as a total of close to a thousand max HP, now to forty so far on him. It's gonna be pretty hard to burst down this kraken so early in this game, but they do have the day with the problem with Daywood is that I don't see Daywood as a potential tool to pick up a kraken. I see Daywood as a little bit of a strong hero to kill stuff like Kronos if he doesn't rewind, kill stuff like a Moon Queen, which is also level seven by the way. So Daywood needs to get a portal key, which he should get in just about a thousand gold. What I would recommend is War Beast to switch it up with the Deadwood and going to get some priority farm and Deadwood to actually roam the map. That's what I like to see because right now Deadwood's pretty much just uh you know three farming top and not you know not actually getting most value out of his Willow Maker. So that's that's really questionable because being a Deadwood, the moment your Willow Maker's off cooldown, you need to punch people. Yeah, um, that's right, and also I would like to see him pick up the portal key first because that's a key item he needs in most of this engagement. But that's a level 5 Kronos top lane will not have the ability to put forth the Kronos feel to deny the tower, but anyway, tower still pretty high here, so it should be okay. Kraken gonna speed up here with the haste and effectively might be able to pull off a gang against the Deadwood, yep, who is. Um, yeah, very very strong player. Oh my god, he charged into the wall there without a target. Um, pretty bad play coming in from the uh, the overly sped up Kraken. This is why some creatures are meant to be slow and you cannot give them the extra speed. Meant to be slow. And yeah, do I need to point out that some creatures are meant to be in the sea? Just saying. Yeah. But yeah, the, exactly. Uh, he was, he was trying to put a reverse uh, tsunami charged into the walls and unfortunately missed the angle so that's pretty unfortunate for Mr. Suns a failed gang right there but uh, still still alright because you know it's closing into 9 minutes and we are looking at a very even 2 to 2 2 to 2 my god 2 for 2 for both Legion and Hellbond and do note that these both these uh, teams are considered a little bit of veterans in terms of uh, experience as well as a graphic so yeah they're they're going uh, toe to toe each other and it's not gonna be an easy game I would say for these two guys so in comes mid Magma is going in for a stun again and only putting Kraken at like what yeah. 200 damage it's that's just much. a salty stun you know just like so frustrated that he cannot farm and needs to put forth the lava search just to get the extra one creep there. Uh, pretty sad story for Magnus, but if you look at the GPM charts, it's pretty clear that he has got some farm, just not enough. Meanwhile, Daywood already picking up the uh, sufficient amount of gold for the portal key. Might be looking at a bit of Daywood roam very soon. Might want to farm up uh, Homecoming Stone just so he can go to the bottom lane, but I guess it's not going to be in time for that. Meanwhile, the Wild Dog wants to join in the cards. Well, Dogi, dude, guys, me, you know that uh, this Magnus just recently got his steam boost, whereas Kraken has got it like 10 years ago. So that's where you know the difference in leverage and farm. You should take over first. Melane, yep, there we go, and the Willowmaker is gonna connect there onto the Kraken. Pretty easy pick off there with the Magnus there as well, and the Blitz just to follow up and making sure that the kill will nicely be executed there. 10 minutes in, two is to three, only two, only 700 gold lead for Team Legion, Team Hybrid, um. I think they are in a bit of a problem now that they was level seven, uh, level nine, sorry, and will be ganking quite frequently. I would like to see the rotation you mentioned. Warbase back to the top lane, a little bit more farm on the Warbase, please. He's gonna be such a force to be reckoned with over the next ten minutes if you give him good farm. Yes, man, level, uh, level, like I said, level nine actually, level nine. They were with a portal key ten minutes into the game with steam boots. You don't see that in PUBG. Just saying, but yeah, that's. That's pretty effective for him. And oh, mid lane, Kronos field, Magmas, a little bit of a trouble here. Will not be able to run away. So that is um, just really sad news in general for Halbon. They are not able to jump in because the Kronos field is just such a good block up mechanic. That's it, mid lane gets challenged. Kraken's gonna connect. 
And effectively, all of the damage gonna connect on Kronos. Kronos taking a bit too much beating for my liking. But the tower's not gonna get the knight. Legion will pick up the goal, and Hellbond will just be sitting ducks there. Yeah, do note the Kraken also just picked up this portal key. So uh, that's pretty good stuff for him. Uh, Deadwood, I was looking at his grass. If you actually put the grass, like, let's say, one second earlier, he would have gotten Kronos because Kronos was getting such a beating from the tower, like you nicely mentioned. So, yeah, tower does go down for the Legion, and it's still a balanced 3 for 3 trade up. Yep. Uh, fantastic. At least there is some form of a hope in Team Legion in the form of the Moon Queen getting some substantial form here. So Moon Queen now is at about a 387 GPM. Looking pretty okay so far, but definitely needs a lot more items. Just have the Whispering Helm as well as the Steam Boots. It's not going to be able to cut it here in this game. Yeah, but the Firebrand pickup will probably start boosting Moon Queen's uh, farm way much into this game. And do not, yeah, this is a Moon Queen and going up against a free farm. Oh, top lane. Yep, sorry to catch that. But it's actually uh, yeah, good Deadwood. And finally, down goes Kronos. Like like what you say, man, that Willow Maker is meant for the Kronos onto the face. And they finally get value out of it. Yeah, pretty good stuff. Kraken actually going to be able to take out the Ancients here with the help of Rhapsody. Pretty exciting stuff happening here all across the map. Meanwhile, top lane. Tower's still not severely in danger just yet. I like the fact that Legion managed to pick off the tier 1, both at the mid lane as well as the bottom lane. So it seems like Legion has got a little bit more map control than the Hellborn. And effectively, Hybrid just need to cash in on that. They have found some space for the Ancient Farming through the um, dispose disposal of the mid lane tier 1 there. So that's pretty good news for them at least. Um, generally, the goal that you're seeing is slanting in favor for Team Legion simply because of the Ancient pickoff as well as two towers there. Two towers, yep. So, and, and yeah, Gold Leap's also a little bit, I would say, contributed by Moon Queen. And note that, yeah, she is a Flash Farmer compared to the Deadwood. So, uh, things to take note of. And we are transitioning to 13 minutes. Deadwood doing good work, I would say. Good work with his uh, portal key. Two kills for uh, two kills for nothing right now, so it's pretty much 2-0. Oh. Might looking some look for something happening. Bottom lane, Kraken missing that tsunami shot. Bro, release the Kraken. Gonna be nicely sidestepped by Warbeast. But here comes Engineer for the rescue. And Moonkey is gonna put on Moonkey now, but she is gonna go down with the Warbeast. Look at him. Smack in punch right now. Here comes Deadwood with the portal key, but he's not gonna land it. Willowmaker It's on cooldown. Kraken is gonna take a lot of damage right there. He's probably gonna go down and down. He goes finally. Meanwhile, in the background, Engineer takes the fall. Empath is gonna go to Rhapsody. He is alive and Kronos with that ultimate. It's gonna be nicely catching up all four heroes. Kronos is gonna nicely get whoop with that ultimate. Rhapsody doing a lot of work with that protective melee. And she's gonna be the sacrificial lamb. She will fall, but at what cost? Three people down, three men down for one. Deadwood still on pursuit. Kronos. It's gonna juke it. It's gonna juke it right there. Is it gonna make it? I don't think so. It's gonna nicely time this away and Deadwood. I don't think it's gonna get the kill. It's gonna pour it out right there. So wow, what a flash. Yep, great effort from Kronos as well as Deadwood there. In fact, um, huge, huge plays coming from the Rhapsody, but it's a little bit not worth it because Rhapsody essentially in a, in that situation is a one plus one. Probably because Rhapsody knows that she can't run away from that situation, therefore popping up the protective melody is fantastic. Meanwhile, it's just complete difference here. Um, the goal now slanting very for Team Hellborn. You have a total of 1.5k goal lead for them as well as the fact that Tier 1 down south is sufficiently addressed. And generally, everyone is really just trying to obtain map control. Hellborn team effectively tries to wrestle back some for map control in the Legion jungle. That's perfectly okay. What they need right now is what they need all along. Farm on the Warbeast. The moment Warbeast gets good items, like even if it's shrunken head, or prob probably stuff like a bit of the Necro's book is fantastic. They get stuff like that, they push even quicker, and generally that's gonna be game. That's a mid lane crack and a bit of a challenge here. Reverse Tsunami, not gonna be useful at all, and down he goes. Yeah, guys, I mean, the fact that Hellborn is capitalizing on that Deadwood, that's what they need to do. Like I said, they are a very bursty lineup, and, you know, all they need to do is pick, pick up kills, and they will get the lead, which is what's... Whoops. I... I believe he is somewhere in space. So let me try and... Yep. Okay, this connection between Malaysia and Singapore is just not going to cut it. This this connection, 
this relationship that we have here needs to improve. But that's it. He's back. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> 2.6k goal lead for Team Hellborn. Fantastic stuff. Yeah, uh, I mean, I was just reiterating the fact that they are adversely lined up, and Warbeast just needs to sit back, relax, and just get up his farm. And then all of a sudden, we have a Golden Hound just charging in everyone and just committing mass genocide. Golden Hound. You cannot you, you can catch that. But yeah. So we have uh, Blitz having his mech commit. Oh my god, uh, We have Blitz with his Astral Lake, so pretty good uh, form of team synergy to the teams. He is level 9, putting him on a good, uh, good amount of wars, coupled with the Engineer. So he's gonna be he's gonna be turning into a farm fest here, with the Moon Queen trying to get soak up as much farm as possible, and Path in the bottom lane trying to do something with his war beast. We have all about 4 of the Legion trying to, I would say, reciprocate on 2 of these war beasts. 5, 6, 7, 8, man, he is level 10. Put up a beast of scout. Look at it right now! He is like, a, he's gonna board away! And that's oh! what the Legion can do about it. Wow! Wow, dude, that just happened. Chrono that, coming, yeah. in, scouting him out right there. Here comes the golden now. He's just gonna run right there. I, I, go move him now. He's gonna be used right there. Rhapsody with the staccato warbies. You are one dead dog. Thumb comes down. Sit down, son, and falls. Get to kill so moon. Kill goes to Moon Queen. Four hundred thirty gold per minute, and yeah, pretty unfortunate for five, six, seven, eight. Hashtag dead doggy. That's all I'm gonna say. Anyway, uh, what happened there was fantastic stun from Empath. You know, uh, the essence link disconnection is really gonna uh, gonna provide a bit of a good stun. So, good play there by Empath to have the presence of mind that it's actually in time for the stun. It's kind of close, but well done there. And in general, now it's about 1.9k goalie for Team Hellborn. I really like this play from both sides. It is gonna be a lot of a close game here today. And effectively, we're looking at David with extra 1.5k gold in the bank. So, what do you recommend him to buy next? I would say bulwark just for just because like uh, they have a, they have good synergy in terms of I would say um, as physical attacks coupled with the war beast battle cry and you know stuff like blitz auto attack it's gonna put forth a lot of um, auto attack damage so bulwark could be a go to item for him or he could just pretty much save up and you know I don't know I, I really can't think of anything other than a bulwark oh he could go for a shrunken hit. But not exactly recommended because of that the gold swing that he will need. The farm that he needs for it. He doesn't exactly have the window because War Beast is probably just busy soaking up the entire thing. Magmas on the other hand, he's trying to go for his uh Hebel of Command, so he will get his farm. Magmas is another I would say a good definition of a flash farmer because of his volcanic touch. I love playing Magmas a lot because he soaks up farm way faster than a Moon Queen, just saying. But he's no uh, he's no carry, so he can't do that. Whereas engineer probably try to look for for his either either just a portal key or a um, well tablet of command. First on the legion side, we have Chronos still sitting on his poor little steam boots, trying to save up for his uh, staff of the master, I guess. But he's nowhere close to it at all. Yep, nowhere close indeed. So. Um, effectively, he needs to get farm. The problem with Kronos in most of today's games is that you have Kronos in the offlane, you expect him to get no farm, and yet you want him to get some form of good items. It just doesn't cut the trend. So effectively, Kronos is going to have to really pull the stuff of the master out of a hat, like he does so with a rabbit. So for Moon Queen on the flip side, very good news. You're looking at 3k gold there as well as a Firebrand. Whispering Helm and Steam Boots to top it up all. So really good stuff. Level 14 Moon Queen Balls here. Really having all the guts in the world to farm in really weird places like even the Halbon Jungle. So give it up to him. Really good stuff. That's a mid lane. Engagement's gonna happen here. Zeno's gonna take this over. Yeah, I was being nicely challenged. We know top lane Legion actually destroys a tower. So more gold lead for Moon Queen. He could pretty much just purchase his uh, Geometer's Bane right now if he wants to. but. Uh, they are gonna congregate in the middle lane to try to defend this, and Hellborn will just nicely back out. Here it comes, no! Magmas touching with a start, he's gonna get back right up with Dead was actually coming in the frame. Can't just blitz when they release the cracker, it's gonna be nice, he's gonna put it on the dead one, and Dead was gonna get reverse charge back and down goes true. Meanwhile, Kronos coming in once again. Engineer, it's gonna be a lot of trouble, but no, Magmas comes in an eruption. Eruption is gonna take down Kronos, and down he goes. Moon Queen comes in with a moon finale, and Engineer's gonna be nicely challenged. He goes down. Blitz is gonna be the next one to fall. Moon Queen's gonna be stuck right to the backup, but that doesn't matter. 
because they just took down three Hellborn heroes. Like I repeat, three men down with just the price of Kronos. They will take that any day. That's what I'm saying, man. This game, it goes back and forth. No, 8 is to 10 right now. They are not really far behind because they have a Moon Queen. And do know in all that fray, Moon Queen is still alive. And still alive at level 15. With 5k gold. Just saying. Uh oh. Meanwhile, Warbiz 5, 6, 7, 8. Not gonna be a run of this one here. Might actually pick up a kill on Kraken. Or even just the Empath. Can't make up his mind on what kind of a buffet he wants here. Would we'll try and run away, but unfortunately, no more homecoming soon because of a nice cancellation there by Kraken. Effectively, he knows he's dead. And the war how can actually take down Kraken first? So that's one huge buffet there for them. Meanwhile, Warbeast now gonna get challenged by the rest of the team. Legion, he's gonna pay in pure comma points for that act there. And really that whole team fight at the mid lane there was really a huge statement for Team Legion. It's like when you bring the balls in you win the engagement. Yep, like that's what they, they call it balls to the wall for a reason. Mewon is so sad and then Magnus comes in with the stun and down goes Kronos with the Willowmaker. So that's providing a statement like Kronos, I don't give a shit. You are just gonna like just you're just gonna melt. That's the whole point. And he has pretty much no items onto him and he's just sitting at what nine hundred health? Like, he's just gonna get boosted now, like, nothing. Yeah, well, I believe he's already on strength um, boots on there. Strength. <laughs> no, on strength ah, boots. I don't know. No, that's in. No, that's, no, uh, like and ver that's a very inaccurate reflection on the item list. Every... You just say int accurate? Oh my God. Yeah, inaccurate. Yeah. Int. Yeah. No, 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 that's... <laughs> No, it's uh, I almost boost. said I saw it to see what you did there, but meanwhile, I was looking at C. Defense talking to Messi Channel, but meanwhile, release the crackers and come on. Blitz, Blitz is gonna go down right there. Here comes all the ports, and Engineer is getting staccato to Kingdom Come. And they will nicely deny the tower for the two for the price of none. And a tower denies, so five man port saves the day. So right now, Legion okay. and Hellward is a neck to neck game with a just about 1,000 gold deposit for the Legion team. What do you make of this, man? This is. Alright, I have to say this, he had his steam boots on AGI and then wow. he changed it to strength right now. Now it's back to AGI, he's rotating but he's not doing a very good job at that. It doesn't matter, he still dies anyway. 2.7k goalie for Team Legion, hybrid here in a cure lead. I really like that a lot and also you have to shrunk it up already on balls. On balls. So when you have shiny balls, the game's done. You have No, you have golden balls. Yeah, when you have golden balls, there we go. Um, balls, of course, we're referring to the player who is playing Moon Queen. His IGN is Ball X3, so we decided to call him Balls. Great stuff. Yeah. And the Man, I just X love these IGNs. They <laughs> never, they never feel to make things a lot more entertaining. Even Funny MK, he's not even a monkey, but he's Funny MK. So. Dude, I don't know if you noticed, but Peter Yet is Peter Yet Nah. Yeah, it's uh, that's all that's all along his IGN, but. Yeah, he's always I been pretty yet nice. Just kind of short cut it for us, just to pronounce it a little bit better. But that's it. 24 minutes in, 2.8k goal lead for Team Legion. Hybrid is way ahead in this game. I'll say, yep. In terms of just goal, in terms of hero levels, they are just flattening Hellborn. Moon Queen level 6. Kronos. Dead. Yep. Wait, not Kronos. No, I would say Kronos, but here Rhapsody. Rhapsody, actually, bottom lane. Yeah. Yep, he's just gonna get Pilfer as well as uh, I would say the Bleach Creek is gonna bring him down. That's a dumpster found onto him. And meanwhile, yeah, Kronos does take the fall as well. So yeah, really Kronos died before this. Uh, Rhapsody yeah, in the same fashion. Yeah, well, he he just dies. That's his job so far in this game. Yeah, one job. Yeah, you have one job, okay, we you have do Hellward. it well. We have, we have Hellborn actually just gonna attempt Congo, I'm not sure if they wanna commit to this. The Legion team does not have vision, so they, they could pretty much just do with free. Up with the fact that Warbeast does have his Abyssal Skull, so that's gonna provide a couple of good regen for him. Magma's providing that stun, Deadwood's gonna... Yeah, like I said, Deadwood has his Bulwark, doing a lot of work in this game. And do know that Bulwark is one of the only items you know, in the game that provides an assist if you are in range. Pretty good stuff there. So that said, 1.6k goal lead for Team Legion Crack and mid lane level 13. But really, the MVP for Team Legion is an MVP, never say, but it's balls. Look at that, level 17, shiny and all. Even Geometer's Bane, it's got like multiple balls. Okay, now you need to know that Moon Queen is not gonna die in, yeah. like, in team fights. So. The Hellboy team is going to be a little bit of a pickle if they don't like you know they have to burst down either a either Rhapsody or Kraken. 
I would say these two because Rhapsody is going to provide a lot of a uh, lot of good support with his with her protective melody. He just sits behind in the trees and like ah, I'm just going to sing and uh, you know and you're going to be safe. So that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Chronos on the other hand, you can't do anything to him just because he can just time leap into the fray and then just put the Chronos stream. You can't do that. So uh, Chronos would be addressed a little bit later, but it's okay for now because he still does not have his stuff at a master and he is way way behind that so Hellhound's gonna be scouted no, not really scouted but it's, I would say that <laughs> it pays me to say this but 5678 is scouting with wolves and he's gonna notice uh, they are they are afraid in the top lane they're gonna congregate as 5 for the Legion team try to make a top push I'm not sure if Hellhound team will want to defend this here comes the second batches of Hellhounds it's gonna scout with wolves but Legion's not gonna commit yeah, they might want to come in here and perfect scout from Team Hellborn. And uh, Legion just got completely just got a one Magmas here. So they know it's fake. They're not going to waste any skill at all because there's a second variation of that in the backup lines there. And Hellborn's going to pull back as well. So Hellborn knows they cannot take a team fight right now because um, they don't have key items for most of those heroes. Yes, Warbeast does have shrunken head but doesn't have the damage. Moon Queen on the flip side has the damage and is also pretty shiny. God. Yeah, see the fact that Hellborn team is still re pretty much reliant on uh, AoE damage, so they have to get them, you know, all pretty much congregated at once. And Magmas has to pretty much stay behind. Magmas has this type of command, 2.6k go saved up. Gonna be pretty interested to know what he will go next. At least like you nicely mentioned, he has the token, he's golden, kind of rhymes, but, but he has no damage. So, I'm not sure what that Mighty Blade will transition into, probably a... Uh, Basher, I guess. I don't know. He has a lot of options right now, but he's yeah, gonna buy an ice brand. That's uh, okay. That's a really bad item right now, but I hope he buys the brutalizer there. That's a top lane push gonna happen here from Hellbond team. They are all gonna congregate at this particular point here. Legion team doesn't really care. They are all kind of spread out and they don't have the homecoming stone. Actually, all of them have homecoming stone, so they will all be able to pop back up here to the top lane to defend if they want to do that. They will take out the Hellborn Ancients first, and the pause will go underway. So that's it. 11 is to 14. Who do you give the favor to for the late game? I would say as of right now, this momentum swinging is, of course, to the Legion team. Like I said, because they have a Moon Queen, and I mean, they have a Kronos. Even though the Kronos is a little bit irrelevant in this game, but it's still a Kronos. Kronos Field is a great team fight utility, so uh, give, I'm going to give you credit for that. Kraken! Pretty good job in the middle lane. He gets the early level advantage. Yeah, he gets an early portal key before Magnus, so he's more relevant in team fights. And do note that uh, release the Kraken synergizes really well with the Chronos field. So, um, in in terms of just well, forcing the enemy to just well spread out, you know, not the kind of thing. So when they're spread out, you don't you can just pick them up one by one. And that's the specialty of the Moon Queen. Because the Moon Queen, once you are you know, you meet someone who is spread out, the Moon Finale is just gonna melt you. That's the entire point of it. And do note in the Hellborn team, there's not a lot of shrunken heads except for the War Beast. Whereas on the Legion, we have it on the Moon Queen and the Kraken. Two very important heroes, two core heroes in team fights, and they have the survivability for that. So, a couple of options here. We have a Moon Queen that's still sitting at 544 gold per minute. Either you address the Moon Queen first, or you die. But the problem is, a Chrono Spiel is going to do so much work in this game. We have Rhapsody with a protective melody. It's going to last for 5 seconds if you don't address her. When you have a lot of resources being thrown onto the Moon Queen, I doubt that you have a lot of things left for the Rhapsody. Except maybe for a War Beast. Just saying. Kraken, on the other hand, is such a flexible strength hero. You have Tsunami Charge, you have uh, Release the Krakens and uh, all the good stuff. Torrent, you know, it's gonna, it's just gonna melt your armor and Moon Queen you can just hit it to Kingdom Come. A lot of stuff, a lot of stuff going on there. And last but not least, let's not forget that we have an Empath right there with the S1. You know, giving so much attack speed and attack damage. Do know there's a lot of things. A lot of things to consider. Whereas on the Hellboard team, like, yes, you have a Deadwood. As of right now, we, yep, the Bulwark does a lot of damage and he is a burst. But he, in team fights, this is where it's different. In team fights, Deadwood's the one that's you know pretty much responsible to picking up you know one, two at max, and it's like a pebbles. You know, you go in a game. I mean, no, you're gonna game. You go in a fray. You you know you do your stagger mites, your chuck combination, and then you're done. You're done for the fight. So the leg mites, by the way. God damn it. 
stalex stalagmites. Stalagmites, yeah. not stalag. Not yeah, yeah. I dude, I said stalagmites. Oh no, you I, didn't. I, I didn't say stalagmites. I definitely didn't say that. You did say that. Ah. Trust me, I heard you. <laughs> we actually, we actually, we actually read. Yeah. Tune in for that. Anyway, um, 28 minutes, top lane push still gonna happen here. A Legion team might. Nope, they don't wanna defend this yet. They don't care. <laughs> they, they can't do anything. Like, they're not even gonna port. So, this is gonna be a free tower for the Hell one, and I think they're still gonna push on. Hellhounds are up right there. It's probably gonna push it in a little bit. Look at Empath, man. He's just sitting there alone. This is a soul man's job. Putting up that wall, but it's not gonna do much. Skeleton King sitting behind there, gonna get spotted out by the imp. So uh, goodbye, nice knowing you. Skeleton King can go back. War Beast putting a lot of work onto the tower and have trying to do a soul defense. I would say the Hellworld team should defend this. Now they care. Now they care. That's so you're, that's you have all five different. back in base, and effectively that is gonna be a no go. Hellbound team's gonna pull back. Uh, it's kind of weird how they know that, but. Effectively, they know that everybody's home here, so don't anger the Adams family. Adams family, oh my god. But look, I mean, Deadwood's doing some pretty interesting clear cutting, but not gonna commit there, they're just gonna head back. So, in the end, they are kinda just toying with, I would say, they're toying with hybrid. Pretty good stuff, it's kinda like, it's kinda like mind games right now. So, with, you know, hybrid, they're just kinda Sticking around in their base and stuff, and they, if you know they go out and farm and things like that, then Hellborn starts pushing again. And do note that in terms of pushing power, Hellborn is still much more superior in you know compared to Legion. In team fights, Legion is much more superior because of that team fight utility coming up from Kronos as well as the Rhapsody. But still, um, like I said, this game can pretty much go to anyone. Exactly, so here we have a 30 minutes game and still going. Um, 11 is to 14 still and 1.5k gold for Team Legion. They still have a slight lead, they better make sure that they um, appreciate that. That's it, Balls here, um, level 18 Moon Queen with still basically the same items. Uh, effectively with the Blessed, oh, might be going for the Null Stone. You think? Could be a Frostful Skull, I could be wrong, but... Um in don't like stone, the frost of not not a big fan of not like, I don't know why. It's just not a, it's not a knife. But yeah, it's a nose. God damn it. Yeah, Null Stone effectively counters against Deadwood as and it slows down the combo a little bit so that the rest of the team can bail out the Moon Queen. And I think that the, the, po the problem here is that Moon Queen isn't really the kind of hero that you can put up uh, double protective because you want to put up as much damage as possible. So the Null Stone is not going to be a long term solution here and yep. she needs to find better ways to protect herself a little bit um, with more health probably can actually just out tank the willow maker and also like to see stuff like a pretty awesome symbol of rage on this moon queen and maybe even a wing bow she does have enough slots for those items at least for fitting the homecoming stone I see yeah that's 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 pretty good insight because like I said the symbol of rage uh, it's definitely going to do more work than the Null Stone just because the Axe of the Malphi would provide more strength. And from that on, she can transition into a Behemoth's Heart, you know, and just get tankier, like out tank it. That's that's what that's that's the word I like. Yeah. Well, we do see the Elborn team's actually congregating in the jungle. We might see a little bit of a clash going on. Moon Queen with her Geometer's uh, Illusion is going to scout it out. <laughs> <laughs> Help one seems just gonna jet on out of there. It's, they're pretty afraid of the illusion. But meanwhile, Warby's actually gonna get spotted out by Haze the Kraken. Oh! Kraken into right there. Here comes the man with the eruption. The eruption comes out with the move. It's, it's all chaotic everywhere. But meanwhile, down goes Engineer being so soft enough. But here comes Chrono. Where is the Chrono's view? There it is. Blitz gonna get caught in the fray. But the first down goes Daywood. Down goes Blitz. That's gonna be a two for nothing exchange so far in and class. Warby's gonna do some nice jukes and whoa! Oh, what the heck? Oh my god! Run, doggy, oh. run, run, no more. That was the most questionable TP. I've That's ever. like I got a TP, I got a TP, and the next thing you know, it gets smashed directly into a tree. So, no, son, that's not how you TP. He had maximum movement speed. He could have ran away. Kraken there, my friend does have the portal key, but even then I doubt that Kraken could have, could have caught up with that kind of a positioning. That's it, 33 minutes in, a Legion team now gonna milk on this pusher. Bottom lane, 
Tier 3 gets challenged and we only have the engineer that is um, Rosie here to save the day for Hellborn. Unfortunately, Rosie is going to have to be put on AFK for now. And effectively, bottom uh, tower is going to go down. They are also going to push on the melee barracks. So effectively, is also going to take the fall. The rest of Hellborn is able to come back here. No buybacks were expended there. And Blitz comes in. Magmas goes in for a three-man stun. Effectively, that's going to be pretty good. Kraken goes in as well and puts a full focus fire on the Magmas. Magmas goes invisible, but no one really cares right there. Magmas very close there. Might be able to run away and is able to stun into the trees there. We'll take a bit of a hideout here and stay in the trees. He will, but that's not going to be safe. Meanwhile, Moon Queen goes shiny and that's shiny ball for you guys completely out of context here Babel but anyway very good push by team Hellborn uh, sorry Legion hat trick as well they're now gonna try and push the mid lane with the Joe Minus Bane illusion abusion still going on since 2013 they're still gonna push the mid lane here and there is not a single thing that the Warbase can do. Warbase complete focus fire mood on and really he's just gonna face the wall and reflect right there. Nothing he could have done. They're gonna call concede. GG well played. Game's done. Ladies and gentlemen, game will go to hybrid. Yeah man, this, 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 this Hellboy, I am not sure what's going on in their mind. They pretty much just threw two team fights and they lost the game. Just like that. So, uh, finally, you know, after a really, I would say, kind of a redundant Team fights on and on. 30 minutes, 40 minutes to the game, and finally we do have a victor. Uh, team, yeah, team hybrid, man. Like I said, this Moon Queens. Uh, well, they survived the early stage, uh, the early aggression. I would say through this uh, solo lane Deadwood. Still questionable, but okay. So they do take game number one, and I, I'm still not a big fan of a Deadwood solo. Solo safely, they yeah. pretty much paid the price for that. Yeah, they paid a very, very heavy price for that. Generally, Deadwood is not really feasible, um, in my opinion, because he just, he just isn't, just isn't good enough. Um, you don't really have anything to give to the Deadwood. And really, it's more like Legion team played fantastic. Moon Queen, huge amount of farm. Let's look at his GPM there in the last game. And, okay. How do we check I'll that? I'll say, I'll say, oh, my thing's still oh, up. There we go. Fine. So, uh, Moon Queen does have 9, 1, and 6, and GPM of 637, and that's a lot. That's a lot of GPM there. That's a lot of GPM. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, we, you know, it's Moon Queen. Moon Queen doing Moon Queen stuff. So, like, you know, props to the entire Legion team for being able to hold out till, you know, she actually becomes viable in team fights. And it's not, it's not easy against a Magnus Engineer combo, you know, Deadwood roaming. Uh, th those kind, of, those kind of jazz. So, yeah, pretty, pretty good stuff for Legion. Yep. So that's it. This is Babel. Joining me today is Zeno Viper. We're gonna take the stream down for just about five minutes so that we can sort things out a little bit more on our back end stuff. That's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the cast and see you guys in a short while. And we will bring you a second game. So don't go anywhere.